Welcome to our tech exploration video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. Is it possible to use Polymer 2 for building a browser extension? Specifically, we're looking at web extensions. Our viewer encountered a challenge while trying to use Polymer 2 with local files, running into a core's policy issue. Let's dive into the details and see what we can uncover about using Polymer 2 in this context. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To determine if Polymer 2 can be used for building a web extension, we first need to understand the web extension architecture. Polymer 2 is a library for building web components, which can be integrated into a web extension. However, there are some challenges. One common issue you might encounter is related to cores policy when accessing local files. This can block your resources. To resolve this, you can use the Web Accessible Resources property in your manifest file to allow access to your Polymer components. Finally, remember that web extensions do not have a specific server. They operate within the extension context, so ensure your paths are correctly set. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, you can use Polymer 2 for building a browser extension, but it comes with some complications. The main issue is related to content security policy. Inline scripts are not allowed, which can lead to errors. To resolve this, you need to move inline scripts to separate files, which works, but has a downside. Overall, while it's possible to use Polymer 2, be prepared for extra work to manage scripts and updates. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yes, you can use Polymer 2 for building browser extensions. To address cores and CSP issues, you can utilize the Vulcanize and CRISPR tools. For detailed instructions, Check the Polymer documentation on optimizing for production. Both tools have Gulp plugins, allowing you to automate the build process with a simple script. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.